Uh, the next call is a split call. Uh, Denise Roach, five minutes. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I'm delighted to take this short call for the Greens on the Care and Support Workers Pay Equity Settlement Bill. It is indeed a historic day. Sir, this settlement has come to the House after a massive scrap. We heard from my colleague earlier about the generations that it's taken to get this pay equity claim uh, settlement uh, legislation to the House today, and I want to acknowledge that too. So I want to acknowledge all the women who've worked on this. And I'm particularly thinking not only of Christine Bartlett and the members of the Air 2 Union, the Nurses' Organisation and PSA, but also of our late great mate, Kel uh, Helen Kelly. Um, so this, this settlement is going to make a huge, huge difference to the lives of these women. And we should, we should actually acknowledge that this government and the industry itself have known for decades that they have relied on the exploitation of these workers in the care sector. They've relied on the exploitation of their labour, of their emotional labour, and of their commitment to their clients. They've known that. And yet, despite that, despite that, they have been, these workers have been willing to get together to work with their unions and to take the case to court and been fought there by the government, no less, and they have won. And it is a victory. And, sir, I think it was Martin Luther King who actually said that freedom is never voluntarily given by the oppressor. It must be demanded by the oppressed. And it's the same for workers' rights. It's the same for pay equity. It would never have been handed over voluntarily without Christine Bartlett, without Air 2 Union, and without the generations of women and workers who fought for this historic settlement. Sir, so we've got an ageing workforce in the care sector, and this, this settlement may go some way towards ensuring that there is a career pathway for younger people to come through and to work in what is essentially a really fulfilling occupation. I've done it myself, four years of it. It's really hard work. And so to have your pay lifted from $15.75 an hour to $23 an hour is an acknowledgement, finally, of the worth of that work. Because, sir, it is darn demanding. It is essentially supporting our most vulnerable citizens in this country to live lives to live lives of dignity. And now, sir, the women workers will finally receive some of that dignity because their status will be improved through the recognition in their pay packets that they're actually worth it, finally. Sir, I can talk about the, um, the qualifications, but actually, Care workers have, had, have been able to get qualifications for a very long time. It's just that they haven't been able to get access to it from some of their employers, and they haven't been paid for it by some of their employers. And, sir, despite this settlement and the fact that it's been negotiated as a tripartite agreement, we still have the situation where the ratification meetings are occurring right now, Air 2 union organisers are working with delegates right across the country, doing about a thousand ratification meetings. And you've got, you've got sort of rat bag employers who are making a mint, who are making profits out of the aged care sector. Employers like Ryman or Oceania, who are saying, well, we're not gonna let you have a ratification meeting to ensure that workers, so that the workers can vote to accept this remarkable um, settlement. We're not gonna let you do that unless we have managers and our staff in the room. So, sir, it's still there. We still have to have our unions, and we have to have our unions continually fighting for the rights of our people in their workplaces. So, I'm joining with the, the other parties in the House to actually celebrate what is essentially a remarkable settlement. It would never, ever have been achieved without Christine Bartlett, without E2 Union particularly, getting together and making it happen. So we are really delighted to be so supporting this bill through the rest of its process. I call up Sue Maroney, five minutes. Oh, thank you, Mr Speaker. It is with